Okay, so I didn't put the skit inside the video because it's going to be too long for my liking and also I'm lazy and also I procrastinated on this video for way too long. So this is my first ever custom mechanical keyboard build. Lol. So this is my NK65 Super User Edition. It's basically a new colorway for the entry edition. As the name shows, it's a 65% layout keyboard. If you didn't know, NK65 Entry Edition is quite known to sell out very, very fast. So I managed to get the Super User Edition through a group buy in 2021. And my Super User Edition that was supposed to come Q4 2021 is still in manufacturing. Manufacturing. Novel keys, what the fuck? <laughs> Place this order in February 4th, 2021. It's probably going to arrive to me in March. Of all the things that I predicted and this one came true. Anyways, this keyboard is 100 bucks. But when including the switches, keycaps, loop, the total is roughly $150. And for my first ever custom key, I think it's worth every penny. Okay, maybe not every single penny. Because this is my first ever custom key, I want to make it look and sound as good as possible. So I modded it. So, to loop 70 switches, yes, 70 switches, that's why my hands have arthritis now. We are going to be lubing Gateron Milky Yellow switches because they are one of the best budget linear switches. I have said so many switches, holy crap. We are going to be using Crytox 205 Grade 0 because it is one of the most standard loops that everyone uses. And I separated the parts into three different containers to lube, which is the bottom housing, the stem, and the spring. To actually loop the switches, I had to watch a loop tutorial. Yes, it sounds mad that I'm saying that out of my mouth right now. And who else to watch the loop tutorial then? They are tight. The key to looping is less is more. For the bottom housing, everything inside it, just loop them all. Yes, including that hole. For the spring, you can loop them one by one and slowly become a psychopath while doing that. Or, you can do the fun method. Uh, put some here, put some here. For the stem, I looped all the sides, including those teeny tiny legs. Fun fact, for tactile switches, you don't actually want to loop them because it'll get too smooth that it reduces tactility. But also, it's personal preference, I guess. After doing that for one switch, I did it all again for another 69. Nice. More times. And it took me six goddamn hours of pain and suffering. Then I stream live on twitch.tv slash Dude, stop it. We get it. You stream. Just stop. Oh, it's man. so cringe, man. So, for the stabilizers, we has man. I need to stop slurring words. Sound of a loop switch. Perfect to death, really perfect. And your neighbors. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Six hours later. I'm in so much pain. <laughs> I hate lubing. <sighs> How's the lubing going? It's painful. I mean, so much physical. And mental pain right now. Emotional damage. This is the final ten, so I just want to finish it. Just give me some space. <laughs> but I don't think they. Oh my god! Where's the spring? Where the heck is the spring, you dumbass? Eventually. Ah, I'm finally done. Oh wait, I'm not done. I have to loop the stabilizers. Uh... Okay. 
So, why? 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 This is why? Why? So this stabilizer was overlooked to the point that you can't even press on it properly and the sound felt so squishy. But pre-loops are always like this. I did re-loop everything back, so it's whatever, I guess. So I removed the plate mounted steps from the keyboard and disabled each one and washed them with soap and dried them. After drying them off, I did the holy mod, which is basically putting tiny fabric band-aids into the stabilizer stem. So I learned how to do the holy mod by watching Hamaji Neo's tutorial on it. So if you want a more detailed tutorial, I'll put the link in the description below. After finishing the holy mod, we went back to looping. <laughs> yes, more pain. At least this time it, it was quite easier because there are not a lot of stuff you need to loop compared to switches. So after looping all the stabilizers and basically have to loop everything, especially the wires, the stabilizer wires, because you want them to be smooth and not pingy, I assembled everything back and then we can finally build our keyboard. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> So I put back all the switches in and making sure every input is working and hoping that I don't have to redo anything because I am too tired at this point and then I assembled the keycaps. So that is my NQ65 Super User Edition with the Evangelion Unit 01 keycaps. They look very good. I like the purple with the green on it. I am a big fan of green if you didn't know already. And my friend also said it is a Mojo Jojo keycaps. And it's starting to grow on me. <laughs> so now I don't really hate Mojo Jojo as much. I also did the tape mod, which is basically putting masking tape onto the back of the PCB to make it sound more muted. So this is the sound test before the tape mod and also after the tape mod. Subscribe to Snimpy97 on YouTube and Twitch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you do want to keep supporting me make sure to subscribe like the video or dislike the video even though you can't see dislikes anymore and comment down below on how i can improve on my videos and hopefully i can be more consistent even though i am mainly on twitch now so if you want to hang out with me more go on to my twitch follow the channel so yeah
Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Mechanical <laughs> <laughs> keyboard. It's my first ever custom kind of keyboard. Thank you, Boy Mac, for the raid. 